So you've decided that a min pin is the dog for you. Now, whether you're gonna be getting a puppy or a full grown min pin, whether this is your first time or you've done it many times before, finding that next one can be a very challenging and stressful time. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a few key areas that you can look around to find that next min pin for you. Hey guys, my name's Nate and welcome back to Min Pin Nation. If you've never been here before, please consider subscribing below. Here at The Nation, we like to talk about everything from training to the care to all the quirks that come with the Min Pin breed. And let's get right to it. So when it comes to finding that next Min Pin for you, there's a lot of choices that you have. You're gonna be trying to decide if it's gonna be a puppy. You're gonna be trying to decide if it's going to be, maybe you're gonna get a grown dog. Um, where it's gonna come from, it's kind of, sometimes it could be almost luck. You're not always gonna be seeking that one out, but if you've decided that you're gonna be seeking one out, the first place that I want to recommend that you start is that close inner circle. You know, look to family and friends. You would be surprised the person that knows the person that's going to have the dog for you. So Zoe, one of my men pins, we actually got her when she was five years old and we got her from actually my mom's, you know, friend that I kind of barely knew. It was one of those situations. We already had Blitz, my first min pin. And so when my mom heard that this other min pin was available and she was a little bit older, she let us know. We went and did the visit and did all the things and decided, hey, this is the dog for us. And at that time, we actually weren't even looking for a second min pin. However, when you know the stars aligned, it just made sense and we brought her in and we've had her for you know the past over 10 years at this point. So I would most definitely recommend that you start personal and start asking around and just letting people know that you're interested. Sometimes it may take a little bit longer, but if people know you're looking for a certain breed of dog and they see it, they're more likely to push them your way. So definitely start with the family, start with the friends um, and expand from there. So if you've decided that you, know, you can't find anything there or you wanna look elsewhere, the next place I would recommend, and I always gotta put it out there, and while I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with going with a breeder, I would be amiss to not at least mention that, look at your local rescue, um, look at your animal shelter, and see if they're there for you. Now, the odds of finding a miniature pincher puppy are probably low, and like I said, if that's what your heart's set on, then by all means, go buy, your, buy yourself a min pin puppy. That's what I did with Blitz. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're not necessarily tied to wanting it to be a 100% full, you know, breed min pin or maybe an older dog you want to take in, then definitely consider visiting your local animal shelter or calling around um, even outside of your area. And you can usually find out there's ones out there as well. But if you've decided that you're going to be going with a breeder, you've got to do things right. And the best place to start looking for a breeder is actually on the, the AKC, the American Kennel Club website. So if you go to akc.org and you start to look there, they actually have a puppy finder that you can look and you can type, type in your location and they will actually show a list of all the different breeders in that area that have kind of registered with AKC and most of them have been there for quite some time and they usually are known as reputable breeders. So I would start there and start to look around. Now the miniature pincher breed, if you're new to them, is, it's a smaller breed to be honest. Now, it's a great breed. I love this breed, and that's why we even started this channel to begin with, but it is a smaller breed, so it may take a little bit more time. You're not gonna go on there and see the, you know, the classic dogs, the classic ones, if you wanna call them that, where there's just gonna be dog after dog after dog available. So you need to make sure that you're patient when you do this search, but looking on there, even most recently, there are dogs available. Now, having said that, if you're looking in your most immediate state, depending on where you live, obviously, in around the world as well, make sure you expand your search. If you're looking, truly looking for that, especially that full breed miniature pincher, you need to look around multiple places in multiple states potentially to make that deal happen. Okay, you guys, so if you're enjoying this so far, if you're getting value out of this, please hit that like button. It helps get this video out to more and more people. And also, I'd like to invite you to subscribe if you're still here with us and continue to get more of this each and every week that we send this out. Okay, back to the next tip. So a lot of people know about the AKC that we talked about just a, a minute ago. What a lot of people don't know as much about is the Miniature Pincher Club of America. So it's actually an official club in the US. And I know a lot of these tips are more based in the US, 
Um, but this is kind of the most relevant information I was able to find and what I've experienced in the past. So please let me know if, from other countries if you have something similar that you've dealt with or maybe you've gone a different route as well. But using the Miniature Pincher Club of America, you go to the website minpin.org and you're able to go through and they actually have what's called a breeder referral program. And they actually have a point of contact there and you can uh, talk to them and they will actually talk to people in your area and they'll actually identify and help you find pretty much pointing someone at least in your general area now once again it's going to depend upon population and it's going to depend on where you're at in relation to other breeders however it's a very good place for you to go to and at least get your name in there now kind of like we said with this whole thing it's usually a waiting game most likely and you shouldn't be in this type of rush you can't decide that you want to get a min pin today and expect to take one home tomorrow. If you're thinking about that, you're going to end up going the wrong route. You're going to end up going to one of those backyard breeders. You're going to end up with an issue there. So definitely be patient, but work with the Miniature Pincher Club of America. Let them know you're interested. Let them know you're from, and they usually can provide you some resources. Um, and like I said, we'll link their website down below as well as obviously the AKC. The next resource I would make sure to look at is one of the best resources I would think, and that's actually using online groups, most, most notably online Facebook groups. So in these, on these Facebook groups, there's many available on the Min Pin Breed run by some great people. Make sure you go check them out. They have all kinds of information about the Min Pin Breed. And one of the best things I've seen on there is people reaching out, saying they're looking for their next Min Pin or looking for their first Min Pin and there's just people that will help them out all the time. So I would definitely look, and the best part actually, is that they will help you, and maybe they're from your exact state or your country, or maybe even your exact city for all you know, and they know exactly who to point you to. So I would definitely look in that area, especially if you're not even sure where to start. Now once you've decided that it's time to get that min pin, you've, we've talked about some of these resources here with the AKC and the um, MPCA or the Facebook groups, you need to now get ready to talk to the breeder, which can be also kind of nerve wracking as well. So we actually made a video all about that. We, we go over 18 questions, yeah, 18 questions on what you should be asking your, your breeder. So we'll link it right over here. So make sure to go check that out next and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining Min Pin Nation.